The crown lengthening gauge. Made up of two tips, the biologic perio gauge tip on one end and the papilla tip on the opposite end. Crown lengthening gauge measurements. The crown lengthening tip. The crown lengthening gauge is used to achieve the proper mid-facial clinical crown biologic and crown length during surgical crown lengthening procedures. The crown lengthening tip is designed to measure the mid-facial length of the newly restored clinical crown and the length of the biologic crown simultaneously. The instrument is color-coded with a preset mid-facial dentogingival complex measurement of 3 mm. This is based on the ideal 3 mm difference recommended between the clinical length and the biologic length of the crown. The color-coded marks on the shorter arm represent the clinical crown length. The color-coded markings on the longer arm represent the biologic crown length. Papilla tip measurements. The papilla tip is used to determine the ideal aesthetic position of the inner dental papilla when the flap is closed and sutured. The tip has a long arm positioned behind the short arm. The long arm is color coded to determine the inner dental biologic crown length, and the short arm helps determine the clinical inner dental papilla position corresponding to the teeth being measured. The ideal aesthetic position of the inner dental papilla should be about 60%, the length of the clinical crown measured from the incisal edge position. The inner dental biologic crown is 4 mm greater than the clinical inner dental papilla position. The tip is color coded with preset interproximal dentogingival complex measurements of 4 mm. When the interproximal biologic crown is determined with a particular color band on the long arm, the interdental papilla is positioned at the corresponding color band on the short arm. Crown lengthening tip utility. Incisal edge position should be determined before instrument is used. Using the proportion gauge, we can see that the clinical crown length of the central incisor should be at the outer margin of the red band. This is the same measurement as the outer red band on the short arm of the crown lengthening tip. The biologic crown length should be at the outer margin of the red band on the long arm to properly achieve the desired 3 mm difference. A scalpel is used to make an incision around the gingival tissue. The bone is then reduced. Finally, a chisel is used to smooth out all the rough edges of bone. Before and during surgery, the crown lengthening gauge helps to quickly and accurately determine where the new bone level should be. Once surgical crown lengthening has been performed, we can also adjust the papilla using the papilla tip. The outer margin of the red band on the long arm shows the correct interdental biologic crown length. Use the crown lengthening tip to determine if enough bone has been removed and where the flap should be restored to. After surgical crown lengthening is completed, the final clinical tooth proportion can be verified using the proportion gauge. To complete the procedure, Use the sounding gauge to verify the correct bone level. Papilla tip utility.
rest the incisal stop against the interproximal incisal edge of the tooth to be measured. Start from the central incisor. The interproximal biologic crown length on a central incisor should be at the upper margin of the red band on the long arm, and the interdental papilla position between the two centrals should be at the upper margin of the red band on the short arm. Similarly, when the interproximal biologic crown is determined with a particular color band on the long arm, the interdental papilla is positioned at the corresponding color band on the short arm. Interproximal measurements between lateral incisor and canine should be at the upper margin of the yellow band.